Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 15, and today, verse 21, we're partway through taking a few days uh, here on the, the lost son, but there's so much more here. So let's look at verse 21. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and am no longer worthy to be called your son. Now, we saw yesterday morning that uh, he, when he was away, the prodigal, he took his stuff, he, he left early, he, he got his inheritance early, it was ridiculous, but, but the father gave it to him, and away he went, used it all up, wasted it, just, just completely wasted it. But there came a spot where he, it said he came to himself. Now, here's where we get kind of interesting because a lot of times we think about repentance, we talk about repentance, we think we've repented, or we put up a good, uh, good. Uh, we speak it out, talk about it. Yeah, I, I've had a big repentance experience. Nice for me. But you know what? When it comes down to actually executing, actually following through, a lot of times that's where we fall flat on our face. But here we see in our text, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. He recognizes that he has been wrong. It's been wrong between him and God and wrong between him and his father, both horizontal and vertical relationships. And so he's confessing that he's been wrong, and he says, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Uh, now the father is going <laughs> to, we'll, we'll come to that tomorrow. We'll see the father's response. But uh, I, this is a true, it sounds, it has every earmark here of true repentance. He not only came home, he not only confessed uh, the issue, the sin issue between his father in heaven and his father on earth, but now he says, I'm not even worthy to be called. Je so this guy's come to himself, so to speak. When it said he came to himself, it was true. This person had an experience where they repented and they said, uh, they, they found out their true relation to God. They found, he, he found out he was a rebel at heart. He found out he needed to be transformed. He found out he needed to be pardoned and forgiven and transformed. And he comes home and he says, Dad, I've just completely screwed it up. I've lost everything. I'm not even worthy to be your son, but here I am. Maybe, would you maybe receive me? And again, we'll see the father's reaction. But uh, we already see, see it. The father ran out to see him. But notice here, I just think it's very important to see his recognition. I have sinned against heaven and against you. There is a, a true repentance never leaves out the sin question. I know that a lot of Christianity today says nothing about sin. We don't even talk about it. It's like a word that's been, been erased. It's been The word has been canceled out of a lot of Christianity. We won't talk about sin. There is no sin. Just do what you please and come here and please give your offering but the Bible picture is different. The Bible picture is there is sin, there is a relation that must be maintained between God and man, and man is wrong, man is a rebel, man needs to repent and return, and through the power of God, we can repent and return, but only God can, can even take that initiative. Only God will make that happen. So the son, oh, he's lost, he's figured it out, he's messed everything up, he came back home, and now he follows through, he follows through completely, even to this confession. I'm not even worthy to be your son. This is how you become a child of God, by recognizing you were a son of the devil, and now you want to be a son of the, the Most High. So, very important, very important. Have you ever come to yourself? If we don't come to ourselves, if we don't ever get that figured out, if we think, well, God's pretty... I'm a pretty good person. God's really pretty fortunate to have me. If that's your thinking, you've never come to yourself. Let's let's pray on this. Dear Father in heaven, help us individually to be to be uh, completely transparent to you, to stay, show us, Lord, what we need to see so that we see our own wickedness, our own desperate need of heaven. Now, Lord, please transform us. Help us, each one, to come to ourself and to return home to the Father where you have good things waiting for us. Oh, Lord, help us. We ask you in Jesus' name, amen. So, hey, the Lord is good. He's on your side. He wants you, but will you return home? If you've wondered, will you return home? Do it, and may his blessings be upon you.